is the head of the household. My husband is the man of the house. My husband makes the final decision. Yes, he allows me to do what I need to do, what I want to do. But if he decides that I don't need to do something, I don't do that. And not because he controls me or I'm weak or whatever. No, it's about I trust him. I, I trust that he has the power to make the right decision. And that's why I married him. If I didn't think that he could lead me the right way, he wouldn't be my husband. So I know there's a lot of independent women out there that don't need a man or whatever. But if you got a man, let him be a man. Because if you don't, don't complain when he's not leading and he's not providing and he's not being the man that you won't allow him to be. Hear me. Um, Captain Shamaya just shared that in our um, sister's telegram group for Atlanta today. So I was just scrolling. I was like, oh, snap. Now, listen, that is a unrepented woman of the world that she got it. It clicks like, you know what? He's in control. That's my husband. I married him. We're here. We're in this moment right here, right now. So if the uh, a woman of the world can have that understanding, what about us? What about us? Romans 12 and 2. The book of Romans, chapter 12 and verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. That sister is not even keeping the laws, but she's she got it. She understands. She's not worried about being an independent woman. She's not worried about being strong and um, she want to bring home the bacon and cook it too. Oh.